everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys my May favourites. So let's jump right into it. First up, I'm going to talk about the eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing non-stop every single day to work. And this is the Chi Chi Cosmetics Spices Glamorous Eyeshadow Palette. And I did haul this in my Chi Chi Cosmetics haul. So you can go and check it out on my in the description box and in the card section. And I actually filmed this look so using this um, eyeshadow palette so I'm not sure if it's out before this video or after but if it has been up already I will link it below if not you can go and um, stay tuned because I did film a tutorial using this the colors in here are so pretty and the pigmentation is really very good. The shades in here are super pigmented but they don't like, when you use your brush to pick the color up right, it doesn't like pick up so much that when you put it on your eye, you're just like, like, like oh my god, I've actually, I have accidentally put too much. It doesn't need you to tap off so much of the excess for you to have like a very nice looking eyeshadow look. It's so easy to use. I've come up with about 2-3 to three eyeshadow looks using this eyeshadow palette like every day when I am bored then I just want to try something new um, and yeah I just have been really enjoying this eyeshadow palette a whole whole lot. Next up is a contour palette and this is the Tatis Pro Glow palette. It has been one of my go-to face um, products especially when I'm in my other house because my other house my makeup collection is very very small and I don't have like a full extensive like you know all of my blushes and contour powders and highlights and all that so I really depended a lot or I depend a lot on this palette so it has both like the contours the contour shades and the highlighting shades as well which is like very convenient but anyway I love I super love the scalp shade in here like the powder one I've not used the um, the cream contour but I so I really like this uh, contour shade it's not so warm and it's not so cool and it's the contour that I have on right now and I love it. The highlighter that I have on right now is also using this um, palette. I mix the shade Lit and Stunner. These two shades right here, this one and this one. And they are gorgeous. Like, can you see this glow going on? Like, I love it. Next up is another eyeshadow but it's a liquid eyeshadow and I think you may not be surprised by this. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Bronzed Bell. I've already done a tutorial where I featured this um, glitter and I will leave that in the description box below. But this glitter is so gorgeous. I have it on my on the inner corners of my eyes because I couldn't help myself. And this glitter is so reflective. It's not normal. It's like you have a disco ball on your eyes and I'm not hating that because I have been really into glitters like I want everything on my face like to sparkle the correct amount so I've been really into glitters lately and I love this oh I got it off look fantastic so I will leave the link down below and I also do have a code where you can use and you can get like um, like 10% off or something but you know if you don't want to use my code it's fine I'll just leave, leave it down below for you guys. But yeah, I've been really loving this eyeshadow. But I only use it for like special events or if I feel a bit extra. But on a normal day, I'm pretty chill. <laughs> the next product I have is a mascara. And this is the Catrice Glam & Doll Volume Mascara Waterproof. And it looks something like this. If you follow um, Aisha or Curls on, and Mints on Instagram and on um, YouTube, you will know that she raves about this mascara and just so happens that I wanted to look for a new one for my other house and I didn't want to spend 37 or 40 dollars on my roller lash so I decided to um, try her recommendation I went to Guardian and got this for seven dollars and fifty cents or something like that and oh my god the moment I got it I put it on and I was sold this is by far the best mascara I've tried and that says a lot from me because I am a like I have a very long relationship with my Benefit Roller Lash but this really just takes the cake because it's so affordable it really lifts my lashes and maintains the curl and it lengthens my lashes as well and if you know me for a very long time you already know that I have 
long, my lashes are relatively long but they are stick straight and they are super stubborn and they do not want to curl at all. So mascara is very tough for me but this just takes the cake. It is so good. So if you are looking for a new mascara to try, I highly recommend the Catrice Glam and Doll Mascara because it's fan. Fantastic. Alright, so next is somewhat like a rediscovery or like I really fell in love with this product. Recently, I actually got my hands on the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and needless to say, I have been spraying this like as though it's water, like it's free but it's really expensive for them. But I love this, like I cannot go without spritzing this on my face before I head out to work. I usually typically, I typically use this after I finish the rest of my makeup because um, I don't know, I, that, that's just how I use it. And again, the mister on this is like, okay, you know what, Let's just, I'm just gonna do it like, we're going there. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I just... I just choked on it, but anyway, fan. But oh my god, you guys, the Urban Decay Makeup Chill Setting Spray. Where is the cat? But seriously, the Makeup Chill Setting Spray is really life changing. I highly recommend it if you are still on the fence about purchasing a makeup setting spray. Um, I can't say about the all nighter or whatever, but I've heard great things about that as well. But my personal favorite is the Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Um, it's just, I love it. It's like magic water. It makes my skin or my makeup look so good after I've spritzed it. And it really locks in my foundation and makes it last throughout the day. Next up is a lip product. And this is the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. The one that I have here is the bubblegum one. But the one I've been using when I'm at the other house is the honey one which I received in my goodie bag when I went to their event like about a month ago. And um, I've already loved this for a very long time but what I realised is that usually I have, okay, I have very dry lips and sometimes I'm, okay not sometimes, all the time I'm very lazy to put lip balm and um, that causes me not to want to put lipstick because my lips will be really chapped and dry. So what I've been doing recently is that after I've brushed my teeth at night, I will actually use the um, Lush Lip Scrub, no matter whatever, I, it's either bubble gum or honey. Um, and I will scrub my lips and even though everyone says to you know you're supposed to scrub your lips only like how many days times a week or what right but I actually do it every single night and what I notice is that my lips when I wake up in the morning it's soft it, there's no like chapped dry skin on my lips at all and I think it has got to do with the ingredients in the lip scrub and it actually has caster sugar of course and it has organic jojoba oil and what I feel is that the jojoba oil oil helps to moisturize my lips for the night before I sleep and because I removed all the dead skin with the sugar um, I don't have dead skin on my lips anymore and I find that my lips feel so much better every morning when I use this the night before so this has been really a lifesaver and it has done wonders for my lips especially when I use it every night before I go to bed so super love it I highly recommend it and the thing about it is that everything is used using like natural ingredients and stuff so it's really great for your lips and bonus, if you really want to, you can actually just take it off after you're done. And last but not least is something that I cannot physically show you at it, but it's something in my eyes. So my this is my current favourite um, contact lenses because I think that they are so cool. I'm wearing my old lens in lavender gold. You can't tell that it's lavender gold, can you? Okay, that was a creepy eye. But you can't tell that it's lavender and gold, right? From far, it looks like grey, but when you really look at my eyes up close, you can actually see the lavender and the gold in the lenses. I love these lenses, not just because of the colour, but of how freaking comfortable it is. I have not tried on any type of contact lenses that feel this comfortable because I can't, I literally cannot feel it in my eyes. It's so soft and once it just gets into your eyes, it just doesn't 
have that like feeling where when you um, blink your eye, you can feel like, oh, okay, crap, there's something inside. I mean, if you put it on properly, you will not feel that at all. But seriously, it is, I love these pair of lenses and I will definitely repurchase it once I'm done with it. All right, you guys, so that is the end of my May favorites. That is all of the stuff that I love for the whole month of May. Let me know in the description box below what has been your favorites for this month because I would love to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me tonight and I will see you guys soon in my next video.